lately I've been wondering why it is that we wait until we're sick to slow down or to take care of our body. I've also been wondering why we wait until we lose someone we love to really appreciate those who surround us. It happens to everybody. It happens to me all the time. It's easy to get caught up in this daily grind of things we need to do and lists and errands and laundry and feed the cats, wash the dishes. The list never really ends. Yet each day is so precious, so important to appreciate every moment. So I wanted to share with you and to remind myself of the top three things that I like to do every day to help me really, really smell the roses per se. So we're gonna do that. So really the first thing that makes me appreciate my day and remember to enjoy every moment of it is having a meaningful connection with everyone that I see. Having eye contact, telling them how much I appreciate them or you know, if they don't really serve me, then not being around them as much. So things like eye contact. Things like saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also things like saying I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you more. I love you more. I love you more. <laughs> and giving hugs. Taking a time <laughs> to not be concerned about if it's weird, if it's awkward, because it could be your last day. You never know. Thank you! It is so easy to stay at work all day and work long into the night, or even study for that extra grade, extra long, because someone somewhere thinks that that's what's normal and that's what you should do. But really, sometimes you just need to start having fun and sing along a little bit and let that shit go. Here's what I like to do. One of those top three things that I think is super important to do is let shit go. Like just not caring if you have the highest grade or not caring if you work the longest hours or not caring if you make the most money, but really put in the quality on how much fun you have in a day. So one thing I really like to do to have fun is acro yoga. Yay, yeah. Something else I think is really important today is bringing your aim to everything. Even when you're simply washing dishes, sweeping the floor, helping someone by giving them a ride, can you do your best? And it doesn't mean like work long hours or give yourself a hard time. It just means really be present with what you're doing and enjoy it because it's a privilege. I've got two arms to wash this cup. It's pretty awesome. I have a cup. That's pretty awesome. So bringing your aim to everything you're doing. One way that I also really like to do that is writing down things that make me feel powerful. So I encourage you to write down three things that make you feel powerful. Make a list and then commit to doing them because when you feel powerful doing those three things, you're also going to feel powerful all throughout your day. So grab some paper, write down your powerful things, and take that power into every simple thing you're doing, like washing dishes or greeting somebody. So I encourage you to take the time in your day, let shit go, make meaningful connections, and bring your A-game. Have the courage to make eye contact, to say thank you, to say I love you. Take time to do things like sing, or acro yoga, or whatever makes you laugh, or fall into a pile of giggles. And then whatever you're doing, whether it's washing dishes, find your power. Write down those things that make you powerful, and commit to them, because you are so powerful. Enjoy your day today.